Welcome back, everybody. Give it up for Louis Cato and the Late Show Band. Right there, my friends. Hmm. Oh, Louis. Oh, Stephen. No, Louis. Oh, my friends. Oh, Stephen. Uh, we, got some love, we got some lovely guests coming up tonight we in do. just a minute. Gail King and Tony DeCopel yeah. will be out here from CBS Mornings. <laughs> Today is a year. This is a year, a year since uh, CBS Morning started. And then uh, after that, just a wonderful actress and uh, now author, Betty Gilpin. You might know her from yeah. Glow. Amazing actress. She's going to be out here in just a little while. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing tonight, Louis? How are you doing feeling? all right, man. How about you? Doing you? Right? I bit the hell out of my tongue this afternoon. Yeah, I bit it really hard. I don't know if you've ever done that, but I'm completely aware yeah. of the right side of my tongue. At all times. And at all times, the right side of my tongue feels like it's about three and a half times the size of my left. Like, my head is listing slightly. And then when I try to ignore it, I become very aware that when you close your mouth, your mouth is completely full of tongue. Do it right now. Yeah. yeah That's a very is. disturbing yeah. realization. Uh, uh, there yeah. is no empty space yeah. in your mouth when you close your mouth. It's all tongue. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think that's too much tongue. Hey. I don't need that hey. much tongue in my mouth. And I've never said that before. <laughs> said no one ever. Anyway, I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Did you get the honey? I'll be fine. What? Did you, did you get the honey? I did, I did. I tried it, yeah. Folks, I spend most of my time right over there, wandering across a cauterized landscape, past a buzzard's gun black eyes and the tentative knuckle of a dune rising to interrogate the horizon. Footfalls eaten by the wind like a man willingly loitering under an accusing sun that burns like an ignored truth. <laughs> Quietly grateful for a beautiful sky to die under so I can present to you the meticulously gritty Pulitzer Prize winning Cormac McCarthy novel that is my monologue. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes folks, just sometimes, I huff a whip it and down a box of children's chewable Claritin when I... <laughs> then smash a stolen ambulance into a local library and let my raccoon walk across the computer keyboards until it cranks out the fugitive trash panda manifesto of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... First meanwhile of season eight. The first meanwhile of season... Very special night. Meanwhile... According to new research, at least half of American workers say they're quiet quitting. Quiet quitting is a term that gained popularity this year on TikTok that means mentally checking out from a job and doing the bare minimum at work. Now, normally, I'd have a joke here, but, um, whatever. <laughs> I don't... Do I have to read any more of this? Do I have to... Do I have to, read the re... Do I have to read the rest of this, or can I just stop right here? I have to, I have to keep going, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile... Two Air France pilots were suspended after fighting in the cockpit, literally coming to fisticuffs. That is an in-flight announcement I would like to hear. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. You may feel turbulence as I kick the caca out of my co-pilot, Jean-Pierre, who evidently thinks it's okay to attack someone's girlfriend less than 24 hours after they break up. <laughs> Even with that the courtesy of proposing a manage à toi. <laughs> I got you, dog! I... <laughs> Middle of that bit, I bit my tongue oh, again. No! Ah. Meanwhile, <laughs> despite nearly 100 reported cases of E. coli at Wendy's across six states, the CDC has given the OK to go to Wendy's. Really? <laughs> Guess that explains the CDC's new slogan, we're kind of busy with COVID monkeypox, <laughs> Just eat whatever, you animals. <laughs> the outbreak is still being investigated, but so far the E. coli uh, seems to have been traced to Wendy's products that contain romaine lettuce. That's why when I go to Wendy's, I stick to the safe, healthy items like the Baconator. <laughs> you hear me, lettuce? You know you suck when you're more dangerous than a food that is a combination of the words bacon and the Terminator. <laughs> it's a sandwich that was sent back in time to kill you. 
Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, I was off the air for a few weeks, and during that time, I missed one or two things, one of which was the sudden stardom of Corn Kid Tariq. <laughs> now, for those of you who missed it, Corn Kid Tariq went viral for his interview about how much he loves corn. For me, I really like corn. I love corn. I mean, then look at this then. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Do you think everyone should be eating corn? No, not everyone has to like it to be the best. Can you describe corn to someone who's never tasted it before? A big lump with knobs. <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. And I am excited. I'm excited to announce that there's an update to the story because over the weekend, South Dakota named Tariq its official corn ambassador. <laughs> I mean, that's lovely. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, that's lovely, but come on, corn ambassador? <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel was right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, a man in a pumpkin boat paddled 38 miles down the Missouri River in an attempt to beat a world record. That record? Most drowned man. <laughs> we'll be right back with CBS Morning's Gail King and Tony DeCopel, everybody.